we're going to be talking about wave terminology. We'll be learning what all of these different terms mean and exactly what part of the wave they refer to. Now waves have a number of different properties that we can measure, right? That's why we need to know their names. So these properties have names that uh, we aren't really used to. We can't really talk about the acceleration of a wave, for example, although we can talk about its velocity. Uh, so if we can talk about the properties of the wave, then we can calculate useful information about the wave. Things like how much energy it's transmitting or how fast it's moving. So to start with, let's talk about the wavelength. Now the wavelength of a wave is the distance between two repeating parts of the wave, right? So we can see in this uh, diagram over here that we have two repeating parts of the wave going up and then down. And the wavelength is the distance between these two top bits, right? So this represents one complete cycle of the wave. Over one wavelength, this part of the wave goes all the way down and then all the way back up. So what would happen if we took the wave and we shifted it across by one wavelength? Well, the answer uh, is that it won't look any different. So th because the wave is a repeating pattern, if we shift that pattern across by one wavelength, the pattern will look exactly the same as before, right? But instead of uh, this graph being, uh, instead of this part being in this location, it'll be this part instead. The repeating pattern means that we just can't tell the difference. Now, how do we write this down with algebra? The answer is uh, with this Greek letter called lambda. So its uh, wavelength is a distance, the distance between two repeating parts of the wave, and so we measure it in meters, the SI unit for distance. So the, dis the wavelength of the wave can be very, very short, uh, things like on the scale of atoms, or it can be very, very long. Uh, there are some waves, for example, which might have a wavelength of many hundreds of meters or even kilometers. So depending on the wave and how fast it's moving and what it's traveling through, its wavelength can be very, very different. How many wavelengths are displayed in this image? It's somewhere between one and four. So what's a wavelength again? It's the total pattern of the wave repeated. So we can see that uh, we have a bump over here, and a bump at the bottom, and a bump at the top, and then a bump at the bottom. But this is not four wavelengths. One single wavelength is the entire repeated pattern. So that's one bump going up and one bump going down. So that means up until about 40, we have a single wavelength. And then up to 80, we have a second wavelength. And so our answer is simply two wavelengths. 